I don't, I don't know if this KOs. I would like to just check. That just... Oh, wow. Okay. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC 2023 video. Something dawned on me today, and that was that I have not laddered since the season reset. So I'm, I'm liking Great Ball, I'm pretty sure. Uh, luckily, one of my viewers here, Cameron, actually sent me a team that me and Main and Olivia, I believe, uh, ran on a showdown live. Uh, and it was basically just like using Mirror Herb Dragonite with Grimmsnarl and a bunch of other like really cool stuff and Co-Star Flamigo. It, it's kind of a crazy team, but yeah, it's it's a really cool thing. Um, you know, the team code is up there if you guys want to use it. But yeah, uh, thanks to Cameron for actually sending me the team that I created, but you know, he made in game. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. If you guys enjoyed this game play in time, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications because I bring you daily competitive Pokemon content. That's my comment question of the day, which is, what do you think the best Mirror Herb user in the game is? I actually think that like Mirror Herb Dragonite isn't a bad pick, to be honest. But uh, yeah, as you can see, I like did not play at the end of the season at all. All right. I don't know. Uh, we're not going to get the Master Ball rank because I only have enough time to play like two or three games. Uh, but we'll see what we can do here. So yeah, it's basically like, I don't know. This is a really great team just for like best of one cheesing people, but it could work in best of three. Let's see what we can do. Like it's it's meant to just be like silly, goofy, poopy. We're facing poopy um, stuff. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Um... So for this, I definitely think that we can use Dragonite pretty effectively. The only issue is we're definitely not going to be faster than that Annihilate. Something that I could actually do that's a little bit, it's a little bit crazy, is go Dragonite and Iron Bundle. And this will allow me to Icy Wind the Annihilate, get plus two attack, and then try to one-shot it. I don't know. I'll be honest, I don't expect to win too many games today. I haven't used this team in a minute, but I just want to see if I can do some silly, goofy stuff with it. But yeah, let's get into it. Honestly, I really look forward to the day that Mousehold Annihilate is no longer all that great. I'm not sure what tool we would need to like consistently beat it. A lot of Annihilates will run like Terra Fire to not have to deal with um, super effective hits from Fluttermane. But a decent amount also run Terra Steel. That's why I, I think that like one of the best options that we actually have for it um, is like Talonflame plus what's it called? Great Tusk. Uh, because it, it just like deals with all of them. You just Terra Ground Earthquake. Mousehold Arcanine? Okay. Uh, not that bad. I'm kind of surprised they went with that lead. Something that I can do here is... Assuming that they want to Will-O-Wisp me, I can just go right into Golden Go. And go for an Icy Wind here. I didn't think they would lead off with this. I thought they would go right into Annihilate. But I think that um, the Dragonite kind of scares them enough that they want to burn it. It's at this point that I really wish that I did bring the Grim Snarl. I don't know, maybe in like every game going forward, I'll just like bring the Grim Snarl and just like no brain it, you know? The game looks so much nicer now that we don't, we don't have to deal with like the locked camera and the N64 models. Alright, I'm assuming they're going to try to burn Golden Go. Oh! Well, I know what I'm doing next turn. <laughs> I know what I'm doing next turn. Dude, it's Jover for them. It's Jover for them. They have no clue. As long as they're not Terra Normal E-Speed.
All right. I'm going for it, dude. I'm going for it. I think this is better than anything I could have asked for. Wait, does my mirror herb not activate unless they, like, boost in front of me? Oh, I didn't realize that. That's actually really bad. Huh. Let's make it rain, and... Ooh, that's not good. Am I Terra flying? No, I'm Terra steel. Let's make it rain. And also Earthquake. Likely resulting in the KOing of our own Golden Go. Wow, I'm really upset with that. Wait, I didn't know that Mirror Herb only activates like on the turn that you like get on the field. Okay, good news is I probably KO Arcanine. Probably. Probably not, actually. The more I think about it, I'm getting a little concerned. Getting concerned. No! <laughs> Why? Why? No. Please. Can you like KO Golden Go? That'd be the best option for me. Okay, cool. They went for Golden Go. We have a shot. Um, I have to. Uh, I have to remind myself of how fast uh, Flamigo is. Actually, let me look this up. How fast is Flamigo? Flamigo is 90, 90 speed. That is not great. Annihilate's 92, right? Or is it 95? It's 90. Okay. So, I mean, I'm Terror Ghost. But I think that my best play here is just going to be Detect. And... Paranormal E speed into Gothitel. Eh, let's not do that just yet. Let's um detect to maintain our focus sash. And I don't really need to tailwind here. If annihilates like max speed, that's pretty rare. Let's go for the just regular E speed into the Gothitel. I don't want to give this Annihilate any uh, stat boost just yet. Can you be like Terra Fire? Terra Dark. Okay, cool. You're going to get close combated really, really hard. Like, really hard. Fake out. Cool. Went into the Flamigo. That did, like, nothing. That's hilarious. Phantom Force. Okay. Stinky. Uh, let's go ahead and deal with this Gothitelle now. I'm just gonna Throat Chop. And... I mean, Extreme Speed still does it. I think that's within Throat Chop range, as long as it's not Citrus. <clears throat> it's Citrus, great. Phantom Force on the Dragonite doesn't deal too much damage. Honestly, I'm really confused why they don't have Rage Fist. With, like, Mousehold Annihilate, you know? Alright. Hoggers. Uh, I don't even have to reveal my very not obvious Focus Sash. Let's go ahead and just go for the Close Combat into the Annihilate. Um, and a Earthquake. Yeah. Let me go with flying type, right? Yes, okay, cool. I, I, I was kind of scared that it wasn't for a minute because it's on the ground, you know? Flightless bird? Nah, this dude's fly as hell. All right, cool. I mean, even if he's max speed, I think we still win. Because I haven't terrored yet. I can just, like, terra normal on the next one. Um, ironically, like, Flamigo just drops here. There's no defensive play for this. Yeah, Flamigo really does just drop here. Uh, my best play here is just going to be to go for an Ice Spinner onto him. Yep, they're going to get rid of that dude. 
get a little bit of damage here. Yeah, that's a decent amount. Okay. Um, and now my play is on their Phantom Force. I go for an E speed. Because they should never drain punch me. This is a really interesting first game. Honestly, yeah, no. With with what happened here, I'm just going to start going Grimstarl Dragonite and doing the gimmick. I wanted to be like a cool guy. Do something kind of crazy, but no, I have to do the gimmick. Can you Phantom Force? Cool, I win. I move slow here, go for the Earthquake. Good game, alright, nice. You guys wanna... You guys wanna get in on a, a little secret I got? I'm gonna start going to bed at 9pm. I know, it's kinda crazy, right? But I think that going to bed at 9 p.m. will fix every problem that I have in life. Think about it. Like, how many problems in life are caused by being sleepy? Like, all of them. Alright. Uh, yeah, we have time for, like, one or two more. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be two. To be honest, like, I don't see how we only get one. Alright, let's do the gimmick. Oh, yeah. This is the one, dude. This is the one. I genuinely hope, with all of my heart, that they lead off with that King Gambit, so I can get the world's fattest boost on this Dragonite. Even if I lose, it'll still be worth it. Trust me. It'll still be worth it. Even if I lose. All right. Oracle Lilligant. All right, that's not bad. That's not bad. Hmm. I'm going to swagger this Lilligan. <laughs> Bit of a controversial play, but I'm going to swagger the Lilligan and just go for the Earthquake and believe in Dragonite. I believe in him. They, pr they protect. They protect it. They protect it. Okay. Probably just trying to call it the fake out. Probably just trying to call it the fake out. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Um... I'm not going to deal too much to this Grimstar unless I crit it. Okay. With that in mind... Let's do it again. <laughs> With that in mind, let's just do it again. <laughs> they have to land a Sleep Powder. Watch them be Terra Dark. I would cry. They're after Ewing here. Yeah, if they're going for uh, Eruption already, they're after Ewing. Which, I think Dragonite can live it because he's Dragonite. And he's goaded with the sauce. I can't Extreme Speed because Extreme Speed is plus two, by the way, guys. In case anyone was going to comment like, Why didn't you eat speed? Um, I wouldn't get the boost on it. Alright, you should hit yourself now. For content? For content! Yes! <laughs> Goodbye. Genuinely hoping that my Grim Snarl goes down to this. No? What a shame. Eruption? It's- dude, it's gamer time. It's gamer time. Beautiful. 
I've never seen anything more beautiful in my entire gaming career. Get in there. Flamigo. It's time. We're copying these stat changes. Give me that plus two. <laughs> Alright, I'm Terror Ghost. There's no need to really fear anything here. Um, if I Terra Normal, I basically just win. So let's go ahead and just Throat Chop this guy. Go for that Terra Normal E-Speed on the Lilligant. It's, it's over. It's over, dude. They already used their Terra. No after you for you. And plus two throw trap does it. Here's the Great Tusk. Um, everything on my team outspeeds Great Tusk, and I'm Focus Sash. I think I'd like just attack the Flutterman. I think I just go for like um, Throat Chop to maintain my Sash and like Earthquake. They're really thinking about this. Headlong Rush? Oh, it's Scarf! That's terrifying. Uh, not the end of the world, though. Yeah, they didn't Dazzling Gleam, so I just went off of this turn. Special attack drop? What a shame. Unfortunately. <laughs> Him with this fat EQ, and he's within E speed range. So, I mean, like, now we can just close combat, sure, whatever. E speed will pick up the KO. Scarf really caught me off guard, but I definitely, I definitely get, I definitely didn't get as caught off guard as this guy did. All right, nice. Let's do one more, one more game for the road. All right. I'm really upset I didn't get to go for parting shot onto the King Gambit and get like plus four on my um on my Dragonite, but it's whatever. All right, let's see who it is. Ooh, this is pretty interesting. A lot of potential swagger targets. A lot of potential swagger targets. None of them are like too exciting though. Uh, no Defiant Mon that I want to hit in particular, but my E-Speed can go crazy this game. I definitely just go with the, go with the squad, but I think that my last Mon, I actually go Gothitelle here, because I'm not interested in speed control as much as I'm interested in, like, reversing Trick Room and locking things in with Dragonite. I just remembered, I have to like update my, my team library on my Discord. I haven't done that in a while. I'm so happy we get these uh, different battlefields now. Yeah, I'm just gonna do it. What is it, speed? Special defense, okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna like do it. Um.
Do they have a Parish Song option that I need to be worried about? Should I be prioritizing this guy? I think I like prioritize you. All right, now my E-Speeds go crazy. It should be Trick Rooming, right? Parting Shot's gonna do a decent amount. Not enough to KO me, though. Um, and I can certainly KO this uh, Grim Snarl next turn. Yeah. I can certainly KO this Grim Snarl. As a matter of fact, let's do that ASAP. Go for the plus two E speed. Um, I'm gonna go for the parting shot on the dude. Luckily, um, Screamtail doesn't have good damage output. Get rid of you. Oh, he lives! That's crazy. Obviously, I couldn't parting shot this thing, so it's whatever. Hoping I don't get parting shotted here. Um, If I do, is it better to go Flamigo or Gothitelle here? I think I always go Gothitelle, just to lock things in. Spirit Break? Okay, cool. I should just live that. Just barely, though. Oh, I'm getting kind of scared. Wait, am I gonna... Can you, can you like, not, please, right here? Can you, like, not? Encore? I'll take it. Alright, cool. Um, I can get rid of the Grim Snarl here. Do they have any Ghost types I can switch in? They do have one that could possibly switch in, although I'm not really willing to make that read. Yeah, cool. We'll get rid of Grim Snarl here. Next turn, I can actually um, get in my Flamigo. And get pretty close to a KO on this on this dude. I could also Helping Hand and secure a KO 100% of the time. But then I'm concerned I won't be able to copy the stats over to Flamigo, which is kind of a more important in this endgame. Yeah, with Iron Hands, I'm going to say... Ooh... Ooh, what is more important? Do I give it up? I'm gonna get faked out. Although the fake out might not KO me. Let's extreme speed. And I'm gonna attempt to reverse this. Yeah. All right, no fake out. Cool. I'm going to get the reverse on the trick room. I KO that. If they swords dance on me, they got way too greedy. Thunder punch. Yo! It's Jover. It's Jover. If I outspeed anything in the back, it's just Jover. Mouse hold? Yeah, no, I don't care. Uh, let's extreme speed the mouse hold and get in Flamigo. While they could tear a ghost, I don't think it saves them. Alright, that's fine. I copied the stat changes. Hoggers. Let's go Gothitelle here. And 
And I'd like to try to KO Mousehold. If they're Terra Ghosts, they can beat this. If they're not, they just drop. Um, I could Throat Chop, and that's a little that's a little cowardly. I'm gonna go for the CC. Could be a throw. Don't get me wrong. But I'm no coward. I'm no coward here. I could be a loser though. Let's figure out. Like coward and loser are not mutually exclusive. I could be both. I'd rather I'd rather be a coward. Now that I think about it. Okay, no, I, I just win. I just win. Yeah. Thunder Punch into the Gothitelle. Some weird prioritization here. Anyways, uh, I want to see how much this does. It's the same base power, right? Yeah, it's the same base power. I want to see how much this does. I don't, I don't know if this KOs. I would like to just check. That just... Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't think that would do it, but it did. Dude, Flamigo's kind of insane. I used to hate this mod. I really like it now. After going undefeated with it today, you know? Anyways, that's gonna be it for today's video. Let's see if we hit Master Ball tier real quick. Let's see if we hit Master Ball tier. Because like I said, I haven't played any games until today on this uh, season. Hold on. Uh, no, we have to play one more. I'm not gonna do that. I have to go get my laundry from the laundromat. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.